Hello all of my fans on YouTube, Nicholas Van Koski here. Um, since I don't really have much to do today, since, like, I gotta, only, I gotta work in, like, I don't know, maybe, like, two or so hours, three, I don't, I don't know. But basically, since I have nothing better to do right now, I'm gonna show you all how to download Plants vs. Zombies Android TV, or, uh, the, uh, Plants vs. Zombies Android TV edition. Now, you might be wondering what exactly the benefit of getting it would be. Like, you, I get, like you could just get like the normal Android version of Plants vs. Zombies, or you would just buy the normal like PC port or the uh, I don't know Mac port. I I don't know. Base, but but the reason why is because this ver because this version is actually like interesting. Hold on a second. As clearly stated on the wiki right here, the the normal the, the um. The, the adventure mode is actually way harder than the normal mode, so, like, yeah, just, I, don't really, I don't know what else I can really say about that, it's just Plants vs. Zombies, but harder. So, first thing you're going to need to do is download the, like, APK of the game. Now, this is going to be available in the description of this video via Google Drive. And then the next thing you're going to need is a, like, is this gamepad thing. And uh, I don't know if that's, a, if like, a, I don't know if, like, it's available on all Android devices, but if it's not, I'm sure there's something similar there. Uh, if, if whoever's watching this knows a good alternative, please feel free to make that known in the comment section below. That would be greatly appreciated. So what you're going to want to do after installing that, you're going to want to open up Gamepad. Okay, wait for it to load. Anytime now. All right. Sorry. Okay. So, so now we're back, and once you get that done, uh, you're gonna want to open up configure input methods, switch gamepad on. Also, pay attention to this. No, I actually don't because it doesn't actually like track anything or type as far. But yeah, it does not track anything. Actually, pay attention to this. That's what I was thinking that that was. Pay attention to this. Switch that on. Go back to this. Press that. Set current input method from the from English to gamepad, and then you just change the settings to however you would like. And now you're all set. You should be able to play the, the should be able to play this with your keyboard. Or if you're using this on like an actual Android device, you can sure not to set up some like virtual like buttons and stuff that are like or whatever. And to show you how difficult this version is, I'm going to demonstrate by playing a single level. I also apologize for the audio being out of sync. The uh, this is just the issue that the emulator has. It's not like it's not the game itself. Maybe Chopper and maybe. Oh, and um, to move the like this like cursor thing around, you gotta use the arrow keys. Press enter to open up this. Press enter again to select a plant. And if I recall correctly, hold on a second. Press the back button to unselect the plant that you select. That is that kind of leaves me off, but I'm sure that there's a way to change that like key bind or whatever better, but I'm too lazy to uh, do it myself. Starting out pretty easy so far. Another tip is that when you want to like dig a plant, press 1 on your, key on your keyboard. I don't know why I said key. I'm not thinking very clearly today. You 
If you're curious, if you're curious about what these power up things do, let me see if they work. Okay, I don't know what that means. So if I have any viewers that read Chinese, please feel free to translate it if you are interested in doing so. I don't want to force anything upon you all. You are all agree. Also, if you're curious about the name, um, the reason why it's called the way it is is because it's for something called the Android TV. I don't really know much about it other than the Android TV. I'll probably play both games on it, judging by the name. There we go, that's what. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative enough. And if this video gets up to 10 views, I will make a tutorial detailing how to set up the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies 2 and how to deal with the whole, like, uh, like ID system thing that was brought up. In, uh, I can't remember what version it was, but, but, you all, all probably know what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, like, favorite, subscribe, and share with your friends, and I hope you have a nice day, and have a good time playing this. Peace.